Okay, so as promised, we will discuss a few textbook questions. So first of all, I want to ask you all, based on the exercise given last week, do you all have any problem on solving the questions? Anyone here like got uh, difficulty in solving any question based on, let me find now, uh, where is the thing? I think I sent in the group all the exercises. Wait, uh, let me try to find it. Where is it? Ah, this one. All these guys. Do you have any problem on all of these exercises? Like any specific question you don't know how to do. Ada apa-apa soalan dalam buku teks dari sini yang kamu tak tahu. Berdasarkan kerja minggu semalam. If no question, you can type no question lah. So any question based on this that you want me to discuss yang kamu rasa susah lah. Anything you find difficult. Anything guys? If nothing, you can comment nothing. Kalau tak ada apa-apa, you just say none in the chat box. So guys, anything, any question that you find difficult here among all these numbers, anta nombor ni, yang kamu rasa nak bincang, Ah, uh, guys, can respond a bit, ah. Uh. Yes or no? If you say yes or no, then only I know your condition over there. Hello, guys. Yes or no? Any question? Yang kamu rasa susah over here? Nah, nah. Okay, so if none, then we do recap on the lesson. Okay, if none means good. We do recap. Okay, so we start on direct variation. This is just a fast recap only on direct variation. So wait for a while. Uh, okay, so I'll ask some basic question. Lah, saya akan tanya soalan basic tentang bab uban langsung. Okay, this one is recap 1.1 direct variation uban langsung. Okay, guys. So first question I want to ask, uh, let me see. Okay, first question I want to ask you is based on the graph. Okay, guys, the question is, antara A dan B, which graph shows direct variation? Graph mana menunjukkan ubahan langsung? Okay, samo, the rest. Can you all comment? Recap now. Yang lain, mana jawapan? Which shows uban langsung? Graph mana tunjukkan uban langsung? Direct variation graph, A or B? Okay, very good. Okay, the answer is A, correct. Okay, remember, uban langsung punya graph kena mula kat, aso, kat asalan. A direct variation graph must start at the origin. Okay, this one doesn't start at the origin. Graph ni tak. Mula ke asalan. That's why this is not direct variation graph. Ini bukan graph uban langsung. Okay, this is the first question that you all must know. Okay, second thing on direct variation, katakanlah y berubah secara langsung dengan x. Y varies directly as x. So guys, this is what we call as variation. Ini kita panggil ubahan. Jadi sekarang saya nak tukar ini kepada persamaan, equation. So what is the equation for this? Can you all type out? Boleh tak kamu type kat saya apa persamaan dia kalau tukar dari bentuk ubahan ke persamaan? How will it look like? Can you all comment? How will the equation look like? Come on. What's the equation? Apa persamaan dia? If you have this variation. What is the equation you will get? Apa persamaan kamu akan dapat? Yes, correct. Y equals to kx. Yes, correct. Be confident. This is the answer. Okay, so can I ask you all, what is k? Apa maksud k kat sini? What is represented by k? Yes, pemala, constant. Very good. Okay, so this is another thing you all must know. 
Okay, this one basic lah. Okay, so now I ask you all. Let's say I give you all a statement. Okay, Y berubah secara langsung dengan punca kuasa 3A dan kuasa 2Z. So guys, I want you all to write out bentuk ubahan untuk penyataan ini. What is the variation form for this equation untuk persamaan ni? Macam mana tulis bentuk ubahan dia? Y berubah langsung dengan punca kuasa 3A dan kuasa 2Z. How will you write the variation? Macam mana bentuk ubahan dia? If you cannot find the alpha symbol, just the can symbol A. Tak perlu susahkan DV. So anyone? What is the variation form you all can get over here? Apa bentuk uban berdasarkan penyataan ini? Come on guys, faster faster. Apa bentuk ubahan dia berdasarkan penyataan ni? How should I write the variation? Anyone? If anyone want to talk also can lah, it's much easier compared to type. Siapa nak buka mic jawab? Why berubah secara langsung dengan punca kuasa 3A dan kuasa 2Z? Macam mana tulis bentuk ubahan dia? So anyone? Ah, uh, let me see. Ife, how to do this? Macam mana tulis? Ife, bentuk ubahan dia. Boleh komen tak? Yes, correct. Okay, y equals to, eh, sorry, Y berubah secara langsung dengan alpha K. Eh, saat you kububo K. Saat lah, saya lihat. Oh, okay, okay, faham. Kamu buat macam ni. Okay, kamu buat. Oh, Aife, yang tu bentuk persamaan. Jangan confuse ah. Now we are talking variation, bukan equation. When they ask bentuk ubahan variation, you must have symbol alpha. Okay, don't state the way equal to. Okay, so Y berubah secara langsung dengan punca kuasa 3A kuasa 2Z. This is how bentuk ubahan nampak untuk soalan macam ni. So, if the question ask, in equation, dalam bentuk persamaan, you add the constant. So, you get this one. Understand? This is equation. Equation must have symbol sama dengan equals. Variation must have symbol alpha. This is alpha, this is equal. Ah, ini perbezaan dia. This is the difference you all must know. Okay, so if you answer wrongly, then it won't be correct lah. Kamu kena tengok soalan tanya variation or equation. Ubahan ke persamaan? Kamu kena lihat. Okay, so now, let's say, saya ubah situasi lagi. Uh, okay, let's say I give you the formula for area of circle. Equals to pi r square. Think you all know this, right? Rumus bagi uh, luas bulatan is pi r square. So now I ask you, apa pemalal kat sini? Can anyone answer? What is the constant in this equation? Apa pemalal dia? Based on the equation, I write. Dari persamaan sekarang kamu reverse thinking. Cari pemalal dia. So what is the constant over here? You all can see. Yes, very good. The constant is pi. Okay, pemala kat sini adalah pi because pi has a constant value of 3.142 something something. Okay, so then if I want to convert from equation, this is what we call equation, persamaan. If I want to convert from equation to variation, so can anyone type out how will the bentuk ubahan look like? 
untuk persamaan di atas. How will the variation look like for the above equation? Anyone can type out. Variation now, guys. So make sure careful. Now I reverse. From variation, just now we go equation. Now I give you the equation, you go back to variation. So how it look like? So anyone? Type out? Chuba? Don't be shy to try. This is your chance to revise back on 1.1. Long doesn't matter. Yes, very good. Okay, A directly proportional to R square. Okay, actually it's A, huh? not Y. Okay, don't always use Y. You must base on the question. If question give A, then you use A. Okay, so A alpha R square. This is bentuk ubahan untuk soalan ini. Okay, so understand? Ah, uh, So now, let's say I add the question. Now I say that R increase two times. Soalan dia, what happened to A? Kalau nilai R dia ganda dua kali, apa jadi pada nilai A? Can anyone answer me? This is a famous question also they will ask. Sekarang R ni jadi dua R. So nilai A jadi apa sekarang? What is, how many times the A value increase? Berapa kali nilai A bertambah? Siapa boleh bagi tahu? Okay, common mistake. Kalau kamu kata 2A is common mistake. Salah. Anyone else want to try? How many times A increase? 2 is wrong. Ah, 2 bukan jawapan. It's not 2 times. You must be careful lah guys. Look carefully. Lihat betul-betul. Ada kuasa 2. There is a square on top. Ah, uh, No, no, no. Saya nak bilangan kali dia berganda, guys. So, kamu kena bagi nombor. You must give a number to me. How many times it increase? Uh, bukan, saya nak nombor. Nombor. Number. I want a number. How many times A increase? Berapa kali ganda A2 bertambah? No, how can be 3? Cannot. Anyone else? Siapa boleh bagi jawapan? Dua salah. Bu jawapan bukan dua. No lah, cannot be satu. Okay, yes, the answer is empat. Empat kali. So anyone don't know the reason, can you angkat tangan? Mengapa jawapan dia empat kali bertambah? If anyone don't know, please raise your hand. Why is this the answer? Okay, you all don't know. ah. So I show you all. Okay, very simple. A directly proportional to r square a berkadar langsung dengan r kuasa 2 so i say that r increase two times maksudnya kali 2 lah nilai r kali 2 so what will happen to the a value here it should kali 4 because kali 2 ni kamu ingat kena kuasa 2 so 2 power 2 you will get 4 that's why the a value you increase by 4 times understand ah Okay, this is the concept. Very simple. If you still cannot get it, you can put random number to understand. Let's say, original lah. Ovi. Saya ada nisbah macam ni. Satu nisbah tiga kuasa dua. Okay, in other words, satu nisbah sembilan lah. So, sekarang baca soalan. Nilai R dia kuasa dua. Eh, sorry, kali dua. So, means that dari sembilan, eh, sorry, sorry. Dari tiga. Asal dia tiga kan? Now is the new. So guys, if ganda dua, three ganda dua, kamu dapat apa? Apa nilai R yang baru kat sini? Berdasarkan soalan tadi. Now the R times by two. So from three, you times two, you will get six. Correct? So enam ni, kamu kena kuasa dua. Six, you must power two. So six power two, you get thirty-six. Correct? So now you see guys, cuba bandingkan dua nisbah ni. What is the A value here? Huh? Can you all tell me? What is the answer? Untuk nilai A yang kamu dapat. Satu nisbah sembilan, A nisbah tiga puluh enam. So nilai A berapa? What's the answer guys? Can anyone tell me? Based on the ratio here. Nilai A berapa? 
what's the A value? Yeah, correct. Can you all see? Sembilan to tiga puluh enam I times four. According to ratio, saya kena darab empat kat sini juga. It must be equal. That's why jawapan dia empat. So do you all understand now why is it jawapan dia empat kali? This is the reason. Kamu boleh bagi contoh. You just put random number. You can understand already. Okay, kalau kamu nampak yang ni sahaja, if you just refer this, maybe you confuse a bit. That's why I show an example with number. Ah, So that's why the perubahan here is times 4. That's why A increase by 4 lah. 4 times, 4 kali. From 1, you go to 4 means kamu darab 4 lah. Okay guys, clear? So this is another type of question under uban langsung, direct variation. Okay, so maybe I give you all one last question. The one that they like to ask in exam. Mereka akan bagi jadual macam ni. Okay, let's say... Okay, before that, got one more question I have. Before this. Okay, guys. Uh, wait, uh, let me think for a while. Okay. Let's say I use this formula. Okay, guys. Who, how many people here take physics over here? Can you all angkat tangan? Siapa ambil physics kat sini? I mean in form 4 lah. Okay, got ah. Okay. So, I think you all seen this formula before, correct? I want to test you all one concept. Satu concept saja saya nak tahu. Can anyone tell me what is the constant in this equation? Apa pemalal dalam persamaan ini? This relate to variation also. That's why I involve it. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay, the constant over here. Yes, correct. Both is correct. Okay, because mass won't change. Berat kamu takkan berubah because you have only one object. G. G is a constant value. Untuk tak ambil fizik, maybe you don't know lah. But it's actually 9.81. M also can. Because M is your mass, mass won't change. Jisim kamu takkan berubah. That's why it's considered constant. Unless kamu ubah objek lah. If you change the objek, then it's different scenario lah. Okay, but now we're talking in one situation. Satu situasi saja. So mass and G won't change. But height, height you can change. Am I right? Kamu boleh bawa objek lebih tinggi, bawa objek lebih rendah, you can change. So that's why if I ask you all, to write out the variation form, saya nak bentuk ubahan kat sini. Can you all tell me, what is the variation form over here? Based on this equation, bentuk ubahan dia. Boleh type kat saya tak? Macam mana bentuk ubahan dia nampak? Yes, very good. EP, alpha, H. Understand guys? Boleh faham? Because MG is your constant. So basically, when you convert variation to equation, you will get KH. Correct? So guys, nilai K kat sini. This K value is your MG value. Cuba bandingkan dua persamaan ini. K is equal to MG. Do you all get it? So this is one example lah to show you how to identify uh, constant and also the variation kepada equation. Cara nak tukar dia. Okay, so until now, anyone got question? Siapa ada soalan? Blur atau apa-apa? Or is everyone clear? Hopefully everyone is clear lah. So this one, this kind of question is the kind of question they'll ask you in exam. Okay, one question only. Then we will enter the second subtopic already. Okay, so let me design this. Okay, let's say I got x, y, z. Okay, I give you some values lah. 8, 10, 12, and then b, 3, 5, and then c, mm, negative 4, and also 11. Okay, random ah, guys. These are my own example only. Random. So guys, the question give you like this. If you can answer this, means you all pro already in this subtopic.
For those in BM, saya akan translate. Jangan risau. Okay, so for English, you all read the question and see. Okay, so for BM, soalan dia macam ni. X berubah secara langsung dengan Y dan Z. Ungkapkan Y dalam sebutan X dan Z. Okay, berdasarkan semua info ni lah yang sudah diberi. Okay guys, first step. What is the first step to do in this question? Can anyone tell me? Langkah pertama, kamu kena buat apa? Bila nampak soalan macam ni. Anyone? Yes, write out the variation equation. Tulis bentuk ubahan. Betul, betul. Correct. Okay. X berubah secara langsung dengan Y dan Z. Okay, so kamu akan tulis macam ni. Betul? It's like this lah. X varies directly as Y and Z. Okay, so now guys, second step. What is the second step I must do? This is first step. So what is the second step now? Always proses ni akan berulang. The same step will repeat for different question. Yes, convert to equation. Alian idea dia macam ni. Variation, you go to equation. Yes, x equal to k, y, z. K is the pemala constant. Okay, so now, third step. What is the third step? Yes, correct. Okay, so anyone, what will be your third step here? If you refer to the table lah, kalau kamu lihat jadual. Yes, very good. Find K. I like the answer. Okay, so guys, if you want to find K, will I use this one? This one? Hey, sorry, mistake. I so baca salah dah. Will you use the first row, second row or third row untuk cari nilai K? Which row will you use? Satu, dua atau tiga untuk dapatkan nilai pemala kamu? Yes. Why you use the third row? Reason? Kenapa kamu guna baris ketiga? Why you don't use the first and second? Yes, all is number. Very good. Okay, then you can find out lah. So X is 12, Y is 5, Z is 11. So 12 equals to K, 5, 11. Okay, so you can get the answer. K equal to 12 per 55. So fourth step. What to do in the fourth step? Now we done three steps already. So the fourth one. 12 divide. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one you can leave it like that. Tak perlu kira nilai tu. Just leave it like that. So what is the fourth step? Anyone know? Um, yes. Okay, you must answer the question lah, basically. You express Y in terms of X and Z. But first of all, you write back the equation with the K value you get. Kamu tulis balik persamaan kamu dengan nilai K kamu. This is the fourth step. Then you go to the fifth step, you answer the question. Jawab soalan kamu. They ask express in term of Y and Z. Okay, so means that Y is on left hand side. Y sahaja boleh ada dalam bahagian kiri. Uh, maybe you try to rejoin back lah. If lag a bit. You exit then join back. I think it will come okay. Okay, so now, if you want to express y in terms of x and z, you will get y equals to 55 over 12 x over z. Okay, guys? Understand? Cara nak jawab soalan ni? Are you all clear? This is how question will come out in the exam. Ini cara dia. Any question? If all clear, boleh react? Clear? With this, kita dah habis dah recap untuk 1.1. Clear, huh? So now we will enter 1.2. Okay, inverse variation. Ubahan songsang. Okay, now we opposite the concept. Now it's 1.2. So let's say, okay, 1.2 inverse variation. Ubahan songsang. Okay, this one also very short. Tak panjang pun. First of all, I will make you understand the graph. Kalau kamu faham graph, kamu dah faham dah bab ni. I mean subtopic ni. Okay, so guys, inverse variation. How will the graph look like? Can you all tell me? Macam mana graph dia akan nampak? Can you all describe to me the graph? How will inverse variation graph look like? 
Siapa boleh bagi tahu macam mana graf ni nampak? Is it like this? Adakah graf dia macam ni guys? Betul ke salah? Yes, okay, correct. The graph is a curve. Remember guys, not straight line, it's a curve. Inverse variation dia akan lengkung. Okay, I can explain to you. Very simple. Inverse guys, bila kamu nampak perkataan inverse, X kuasa apa? Saya nak tanya. Kuasa kat sini. The power of X. When you see inverse, inverse means power what? Kuasa apa? Bila nampak songsang. Kamu semua belajar fungsi songsang kan dalam matematik tambahan. So, apa kuasa dia? Ah, Inverse function, kuasa X is negative 1. Betul? So, any graph, when kamu ada satu bahagi X, this is the shape of the graph. Ini bentuk dia. This is what we call as reciprocal function in English. Reciprocal. Okay, in BM, I think it's salingan. Kalau tak silap. Fungsi salingan. I don't know lah if I'm correct. Okay, it's salingan if not mistaken. Alright, so this is how the graph look like. So what can we analyze from the graph? Apa kita boleh dapat dari graph ni? So can you all see? Bila nilai X bertambah, when X value increase, what happened to the Y value guys? Yeah, yeah, it's physics actually. Dia ada hubung kait. That's why I tell you, your physics must be power to understand this. So what happened to Y? Yes, it go down. So guys, this is what it mean by inverse lah. Satu naik, satu turun. This is what we call as songsang, inverse. Okay, so the graph is like this. Alright? So basically, the whole chapter trying to explain this only to you. Okay, but of course got detail lah. I can show detail for this chapter. Okay, very simple. Uh, let me see. One good example to give you. Okay. Let's say, okay, before that, I want to ask you all one thing. Guys, untuk gambarkan fungsi songsang ni, ah, in the graph form, I want to ask you which graph is correct. Ah. You all see carefully. Okay, but question, ah, guys. A, B. Which graph shows inverse uh, variation? Mana graph menggambarkan ubahan songsang? A atau B? A or B? Which one show inverse variation? Graph mana tunjukkan ubahan songsang? Answer? Apa jawapan dia? How about the rest? Yang lain? Apa jawapan dia? Okay, sama sama. I want to see the rest. What you all say on this? Okay, sama. How about the rest? Mana graph menunjukkan ubahan songsang? Which graph show inverse variation? Ah, <laughs> when you see majority answer different, you get panic already. <laughs> okay, I tell you all the answer. Ah, huh? I actually trick you all. Both of it is the answer. Dua-dua pun jawapan dia. Okay? So why? Mengapa? Very simple guys. This graph I told you is Y berubah songsang dengan X. Correct? Y varies inversely as X. Betul? Kamu boleh nampak kat sini. But guys, this graph ah ada yang dah sedar. Can you all see this guys? Kalau saya nak bandingkan satu per X secara keseluruhan, if I compare one over X as a whole, apa simbol dia guys? Berubah secara terus. It is direct relationship. Kalau you bandingkan Y dengan satu bahagi X, Y versus one over X berubah secara langsung. Directly proportional. Kalau kamu bandingkan Y dengan X, X sahaja, only X, this is inverse variation. Ubahan songsang. Understand the concept guys? Mereka boleh uji kamu tahu. Walaupun yang ni bukan fizik, matematik also can draw this kind of graph and uji kamu. Okay? So make sure you all don't get tweaked. Okay? Kamu kena lihat paksi dia betul-betul. Adakah X ataupun satu bahagi X? Okay? So this is one more question. So now, let's say I try to apply this knowledge 
into one formula. Guys, I think you all seen this formula, right? Laju sama dengan jarak bahagi masa. Speed equal distance over time. So guys, can I ask you all? Uh, let's say saya bagi simbol lah kat kamu. Speed is V, distance is S, time is T. So guys, saya nak kamu tulis satu ubahan songsang kat sini. Can you all type out? I want you all to write one inverse variation. What is the answer? Make sure you tulis ubahan lah guys. Bukan persamaan. Saya nak ubahan inverse variation that you can get over here. Yes. Okay, actually S tak perlu. Okay, you just write satu bahagi T cukup. Because I want V and T only. Okay, so guys, I want to ask you all. Distance. Jarak kat sini. What is the jarak in this situation? Apa kita panggil dia? What is the distance called in this equation? V inversely as 1 over T. So what is the distance here? Anyone can tell. Very good. It's a constant. Okay. So very simple. You all can see over here. Okay, wait. Huh? Wait for a while. Okay. So V varies inversely as T. V berubah secara songsang dengan T. So if I want to convert variation, this is variation. Wait. Huh? To equation. So guys, convert variation to equation, you must tambah K. Betul? Tambah dengan pemalas. So V equals to K over T. So guys, your formula is V equals to S over T. So basically, pemala kamu kat sini, your constant is your distance. Jarak kamu, which is your S. Do you all understand? Boleh faham? So this is how I get the relationship. So basically, what they telling you here is, Bila kamu cuba siasat hubungan antara kuantiti, when you trying to investigate relationship between kuantiti, satu kuantiti must, okay, mesti ya, must be constant. Okay, kamu tak boleh ubah tiga-tiga kuantiti dan siasat hubungan. If you try to change all the three quantity and investigate relationship, cannot. So this is proving to you. There must be one constant. So in this case, distance is constant. Jawa kita pemala. Understand guys? Do you get the concept? Okay, basically in your science, you all learn this lah. MV, RV, CV. Betul? So basically the CV over here is distance lah. Pemboleh ubah dimalakan adalah jawa. Okay, constant variable or fixed variable. Okay, guys. So this is about inverse variation lah. One example. Okay, I can give more also. Let's say I think of another situation. Mm, let me think ah, a bit. Any formula to show this. Let me see. Hmm. Wait, uh, guys, I think of a good example for you to show inverse variation. Inverse variation. Okay, I think I need to involve physics again. Lah. Okay, baru kamu boleh faham. Okay, uh, guys, if I talk about physics, can, uh, who is okay, please, angkat tangan. Because a lot of example can kena relate dengan fizik to explain this concept of inverse variation, uban song sang. Okay, so I just give one formula lah to you. Okay, very simple. Who heard of this? Siapa dengar tentang yang ni? Hukum boils? I think form 4 dah belajar kan for those ambil fizik. Okay, can I ask you all? This law, dia libatkan quantity apa? What quantity is involved in this law? Apa dua quantity? Yes, very good. Pressure and volume. Tekanan dan isi padu. So guys, hukum Boyle's kata apa? Pressure berubah secara songsang dengan isi padu. P varies inversely as volume. Okay, pressure varies inversely as volume. So guys, 
If I want to tukar kepada persamaan, saya tambah pemala kan? I add a constant. Correct? So guys, from this equation, you will get PV equals to K. Pemala. So guys, what is the pemala over here? Can you all tell me? Apa yang dimalalkan kat sini? What is constant over here? In this situation. In physics lah. That's very good. Okay, actually, the pemala over here is the temperature. Suhu. So that's why your formula is actually PV equals to T. Okay guys? Understand? So this is another concept lah to explain inverse variation to you all. Okay, hukum, eh, sorry, uban song sang. Alright? So now, let's see the textbook. Kita buat contoh dalam buku teks pula. Hmm, okay. Let me see one example. Okay, let's, let me ask you this one. Okay, so they got one formula here. Laju purata. Average speed. Equal to total distance. Jumlah jarak. Bahagi. Jumlah masa. Total time. So guys, I want to ask you one question based on this. So let's say. If my total time. Kalau jumlah masa saya. Ganda dua. It times by two. What happened to the average speed? Apa perubahan yang berlaku pada laju puata? Can you all tell me? Does it increase or decrease? Adakah dia bertambah ke berkurang? Yes, berkurang. Berkurang berapa? How much it decrease? Based on the value here. Berapa kali ganda dia menurun? How many times it decrease? Ah, bukan. Okay. Careful lah guys, kalau kamu cakap berkurang dua, maksudnya, actually kamu gandakan nilai tau. Remember, jawapan dia adalah bahagi satu per dua. Eh sorry, bukan bahagi satu per dua, bahagi dua, yes. Okay, bahagi dua. It decrease two times. Ah, Bukan, ah, kalau kamu cakap berkurang dua, saya tak tahu kamu maksud darab ke bahagi. Okay, kamu kena cakap bahagi. Okay, bahagi dua. Okay, so it decreased by two times. Understand? So this is the situation. So let's say, saya ubah formula. Uh, saya bagi satu rumus dengan kuasa dua. Saat, uh, saya fikir. Hmm, kuasa dua. Wait now guys, let me think for a while. Okay, let's say I create my own situation lah. Okay, saya bagi satu contoh sahaja. Number of workers and varies inversely berubah secara songsang as the square of time T Hours. Okay guys, can you all type out for me? Apa bentuk ubahan untuk soalan ni? What is the variation form for this question? Jumlah pekerja dia berubah secara songsang dengan kuasa dua masa dalam unit jam. So apa bentuk ubahan? What is the variation form? You all can type out. Yes, yes, I want the full equation. What is the variation? Sorry, what is the full variation form? Yes, correct. N alpha 1 over T square. Okay, square of time means T kuasa 2 lah. Okay, and then varies inversely. Always, right, guys, you must understand. When they say varies inversely, berubah secara songsang, ini simbol dia. Alpha satu per. Ah, baru kamu isi yang ni dan yang ni dengan kehendak soalan. You fill in the blank with the question. It varies inversely. Dia maksudnya semua ni. Alpha satu over. Kamu kena tulis yang tu siap-siap. You must write that. That is mean by 
varies inversely. Okay, so now let's say I ask a question based on this. Saya nak berapa jumlah pekerja yang diperlukan kalau masa saya ganda dua? Boleh tak kamu jangkakan apa perubahan pada bilangan pekerja? What happens to the number of worker? Bila masa saya darab dua? Uh, uh, darab ke bahagi? Careful lah guys. Empat kali or bahagi empat? Which one is the correct answer? Now we're doing, yes. Sekarang kita buat uban song sang. So that's why you have to divide four. Okay, bahagi empat. Okay, because... 1 per 2 kuasa 2, kamu dapat 1 per 4. That's why it's bahagi 4. Okay, 1 per ni kita tak ambil kira. We don't include because this is the formula. Ini adalah rumus dia. Kamu kena tulis alpha 1 per untuk tunjuk ubahan song sang. To show inverse variation, you must write alpha 1 divide by something. So that's why you times 2 at the bottom, 2 square, you get 4. Okay, that's why 1 meningkat. Satu kena menurun lah. Kalau kamu darab kat sini, maksudnya nilai akan bertambah. When you times, always the value will increase. That's why you must divide. Understand? Can get the concept guys? So this is the uh, type of question lah yang melibatkan perubahan. Okay, the changes. Okay, so yeah. This one settled already. So let me see any other question to discuss. Mm. Okay, this one nothing. Okay, guys. I want to ask you all one thing. Let's say, saya bagi jadual kat kamu lah. I give you all a table. X and Y, yeah? So, I start like this. 8 and 4. Okay, and then so guys, I want to ask y'all, is this inverse variation? Adakah ini uban song sang? Yes or no? Adakah ini uban song sang? Is this an inverse variation, girl? Yes or no? Cuba jawab. Okay, the rest? Is this inverse variation or not? Adakah ini uban song sang? The rest? Tak tahu. Okay, very simple guys. To know whether it's inverse variation, kamu kena cari nilai K. You must remember that K is a constant. K, K2 pemala. So guys, if you look at this equation, kalau kamu lihat persamaan ini secara keseluruhan, if you see and compare all the values here, can you find a constant value guys? Adakah kamu boleh nampak satu nilai pemala? Kalau Y ni berubah songsang dengan X. Can you see a constant value? Yes or no? My pemala here is K equals to XY, you know. K sama dengan XY. Y berubah secara songsang dengan satu dengan X. So Y equals to K over X. So K is equal to XY. So guys, semua nilai ni, do you get constant? Yes or no? Cuba darab satu per satu. All the values here, you times one by one, column by column. Do you get constant K? Yes or no? Dapat ke tak guys? Nilai pemala. Do you all get? Yes, the answer is no. That's why this one is not inverse variation. Ini bukan uban song sang. Correct. That's how you check. Okay, you must times both of the values to do to check whether it's inverse variation. Ah, very simple. I recap for you all what we learned last time. Guys, let's say it's direct variation. Dia adalah uban uh, terus. Okay, it's direct variation. X, Y. So let's say I got something like this. 
So guys, adakah ini menggambarkan uh, uban terus? Does it show direct variation? Yes or no? Yes, okay, what is the reason? Apa sebab kamu kata ya? Mengapa mengapa ini dipanggil uban terus? Yes, okay, the times 2 actually over here is showing your K value, nilai pemala kamu. So guys, how you get the 2? 4 bahagi 2, you get 2. 8 bahagi 4, kamu dapat 2. 12 bahagi 6, kamu dapat 2. 16 bahagi 8, you get 2 also. So guys, if I say it's direct variation, means that Y berubah secara terus dengan X. Y varies directly as X. So y equal to kx. So how you find the k? K sama dengan y bagi x. Correct? Do you all understand this? Boleh faham yang ni? So that's why I take y divide x lah. 4 bagi 2, 8 bagi 4. Semua kena konsisten lah. Kalau dua konsisten, dua lagi tak konsisten, bukan uban terus. Keempat, empat kena bagi nilai k sama. All the four column right must give the same k value if different one column also different still wrong okay so now let's say saya ubah situasi kepada uban songsang i show you all ah i give a different example inverse variation so let's say i got xy again xy okay and then let's say got something like this Hey, sorry, this one cannot. I must use. Okay, guys. Does it show inverse variation? This situation? Let's say saya guna rumus ni lah. Y berubah secara songsang dengan X. Y varies inversely as X. Does it show uh, inverse variation? Adakah ini menunjukkan uban songsang? Ya atau tidak? You cannot just observe the trend and say yes or no, guys. Kamu kena betul-betul kira nilai K. Kalau kamu lihat saja terus, itu bukan cara dia. You cannot direct C and say yes. Okay, you must count one by one, check the K value. Adakah dia consistent untuk setiap uh, jalo? Okay, is it the same? So yes or no, guys? Is this uh, inverse variation? Yeah, it's not consistent. Okay, I can show to you. This one, K value 42. This one, K value 42. You can see still consistent. Huh? Dua dah consistent. But kamu lihat yang ni. This one, you get 40 when you times both value. This one, you get 36. So that's why these two are not consistent. Dua ni tak consistent. That's why this one is not correct. Uban ini tak betul. Okay, it's wrong. Understand guys? If anyone asks why must we times both the value, kamu tukar dari bentuk ubahan ini, you convert from variation to equation. How to get the k value? Macam mana dapat nilai k? You must take xy. Okay, k equal to xy. Understand guys? Mengapa saya darab dua nilai? Because k equal to xy. Clear? Any question you have? No, ah? Huh? Okay, good. So now, I give you all break five minutes. If you have question, you ask first. Uh, you all come back at 8.50. Okay? Anyone want to go toilet, you can go toilet first. Okay? Or drink water or anything. Okay? Five minutes rest. Then if you have question, you can still ask me now lah. Okay, I'll be here. We continue back five minutes time. So don't leave the meeting, ah. Huh? We continue back five minutes time. Eight fifty-five. The thing you also would be
Wow, you all know questions, huh? everyone here. So clear huh? on everything so far. Okay, guys, we start back, huh? Everyone ready? Ready, huh? Okay, come. So now, uh, let me see. Okay. For inverse variation, unto uban song sang, you got something like this, correct? This is the format of inverse variation. Okay, but one condition. Guys, can you all tell me? Nilai N. N cannot be equal to what value in this case? Untuk soalan yang ni. N tak boleh sama dengan nilai apa? Can you all tell me if you understand inverse variation? N cannot be equal to what value? Uh, no, not one. How about the rest? Yes, the answer is zero. And tabole sama dengan kosong. Why? Because y varies inversely as x kosa kosong. Guys, x power zero, what you get? One. Yeah. So basically, you get this one, which is totally wrong. Lah. So this is one condition you must remember. Okay, nilai x, nilai n. Tak boleh kosong. 
Okay, got another condition. X. X cannot equal to what? X tak boleh sama dengan nilai apa? Can you all tell me? When we plotting the graph time lah, X cannot be equal to what value? Anyone? Nilai X tak boleh sama dengan apa? Try to think and see. Yes, correct. The answer is zero. Okay, understand? Yeah, because if you have x equals to zero, zero power n, you still get zero. So guys, one bahagi kosong. What is the answer? Huh? If you take y, if you take one divide zero, what is the answer you get? Infinity. Okay, kamu dapat tak boleh selesaikan lah dalam satu lagi perkataan. There is no solution. Okay, tak boleh selesaikan. So guys, do you all understand now why our graph Yang saya lukis tadi, remember our inverse graph? Guys, can you all see? When x equal to 0, adakah graph menyentuh paksi y? Does the graph touch the y-axis? Yes or no? Does it touch? Adakah dia sentuh? Yes, because you have infinity. This is nilai x. Bila x sama dengan kosong, why you will get infinity. That's why the graph, dia akan dekat dengan paksi X, it will be close to the Y axis, but it will never touch. Okay, dia takkan sentuh. Okay, same with over here. Let's say, guys, if X, dia menghampiri infinity, adakah graph akan sentuh paksi Y, guys? Yes or no? Eh, sorry, adakah graph akan sentuh paksi X? Will the graph touch the x-axis? Yes or no? Boleh touch ah guys. This region. Adakah graph akan sentuh paksi x? For my inverse function. Untuk fungsi song-song saya. Yes or no? Uh, the answer is actually no. Okay, not really actually wrong. It should be no. Okay, it won't touch one. Dia takkan sentuh. You can get as close as maybe like this. Ah, uh, Dia takkan sentuh. Y will never be zero. Y takkan sama dengan kosong. When X sama dengan infinity. Infinity means a very large value. Nilai sangat besar yang kamu tak boleh bayangkan. A very large value that you cannot imagine. This is what we call as infinity. So based on the graph, berdasarkan graph fungsi song sang ini, sorry, ubahan song sang, inverse variation, you will not touch the x or y axis. Okay, that is why the charlotte that you all tell me is like this. n cannot be zero, x also cannot be zero. Understand guys? Boleh faham? The concept I'm trying to explain here. Okay, so this is the few condition you all must remember. Okay, for this inverse function graph. Okay. So that's one part. And then let me see the next part. Um, okay. Let's say I give you a jadual. Okay, something like this. X and T, yeah. So guys, based on this jadual, berdasarkan jadual ni. Can you all tell me? Does T... Hey, wait, sorry. Wait, ah, I changed color. T berubah songsang dengan X ataupun T berubah songsang dengan X kuasa 2. Can you all try to answer this? Wait, ah, sorry. So which one is correct, A or B? Which one show the correct relationship based on this jadual? T varies inversely as x or T varies inversely as x square? Which one is the correct graph? I sorry, mana ubahan yang betul? Which is the correct variation? Try and see. Remember the method I told you all, what you must find. Apa kamu kena cari? So you tell me which will be the right answer.
Okay, the rest, how about others? What is the correct answer? Wow, one person say A, all you code A. Very smart, are huh, you guys? Okay, correct. The answer is A. All right. Hopefully, you all never e-code. You all try on your own. Okay, so the answer is A. Very simple. So, guys, you must count the constant. Okay, if you see over here, 360. 360. 360. 360. You times both of the value. Darab dua nilai. 360. So, that is why A is the correct answer. Okay, if you try B, you won't get constant value. Kamu takkan dapat nilai yang sama. So that's why uh, B is the wrong answer. Okay, guys? Understand? So I think shouldn't be quite hard lah, this one. Okay, I give you all one nice example for you. Okay, this one very nice. I like this one. Wait, uh, let me write fully. Wait, uh, let me modify a bit. Okay, guys, try this question and see. What will be your answer? Apa jawapan kamu? I make it tricky a bit, simply. Saya bagi dia kabar sikit. Once you get the answer, you tell me. I'll check for you. Be careful, uh, guys. This question got a lot of tweak one. Okay. I want answer, guys. Not how to do. I want direct answer. What is the value of D? Apa nilai D? If you write like that wrong, uh, Susan, you cannot write f equals to 1 over d square. You must write f varies inversely as d square. Okay, if you want to put equals to, you must put k. f equals to k over d square. You must add constant when you convert from variation to equation. Okay. So anyone got the answer? For nilai D? Eh, no. Try again. Uh, close, close, but no. Try again. You must be careful of the units, guys, in this question. Ada banyak unit. No. Try again. Hey, wait, uh, wait, uh, guys, for a while. Sorry, sorry. I also go and mistake my own answer. Wait, uh. wait, 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 wait. Saya pun nak tengok. Uh, okay, divide by F15. Wait, uh, guys, maybe some of the answer is correct. Let me check back again because I make some careless mistake just now. Times 100. Okay, let me check back again. Okay, no. Let me see on top whether anyone got the answer. Mm, no. So far, no one. Guys, be careful of the units. Huh? 
So guys, I show you all. Uh, okay, we hey, sorry, go and close. Okay. So based on this, I start with the first two value I give. Okay, saya mula dengan dua nilai ni. So please take note of the units I use. I use Newton and also meter beginning. So I find the K value. Okay, so you will get K equal to FD square. No, no, no. So K equal to F is 15. D is 1.2 and then kuasa 2. Okay, so if you press calculator, you should get K sama dengan 21.6. Okay, so you write back the equation, tulis balik persamaan dengan nilai K. So you will get F equal to 21.6 over D square. So now, matlamat kamu adalah untuk cari D. So D square equal to 21.6 over F. Understand? Yang ni algebra sahaja. Okay, just shift here and shift there. So then, D is equal to punca kuasa 2, 21.6 over F. Correct? So now, F. Guys, can I direct ganti F equals to 10? Yes or no? Boleh tak saya ganti terus? Okay, what should I substitute F with? Nilai apa? What should I substitute F with? That's why I tweak you all here. No, no, no. I'm telling F. Oh, you all mistaken lah. Guys, this K ah, is not the constant value. Yang ni maksudnya kilo. Guys, prefix. You all learn in form 3, right? Maths. Kilo is what? 10 power 3. Am I right? Yeah, actually it's constant lah. 10 power 3 is a constant also. Kilo is a constant. Am I right? Ah, so that's why you must take 10 times 1000. Ah, yes, 10,000 Newton. Correct. That's why kamu kena ganti F equals to 10,000. Then only you will get the answer. I think you all get trick over there. Okay? Soalan takkan suruh kamu gantikan nilai K macam tu. That's not how the question come. They want to test you all on unit. Okay. Okay. Mungkin kamu salah faham sikit lah. Okay. So if you press calculator, you will get 0 0.046. So guys, is this my final answer? Adakah ini jawapan akhir saya? Okay. What I must do some more? Apa saya kena buat lagi? Yes. Do you all realize? My unit of D here is centimeter. So the answer I get, what you need guys? Can you all tell me? Jawapan saya ni dalam unit apa? What is the unit for my answer? Eh, where got CM? This answer, jawapan ni saya maksudkan. Yes, is in meter. So 0 0.046 is actually in meter. So you must convert to centimeter. You will get 4.6 centimeter. Understand guys? Tricky or not this question? Kamu rasa cabar kan sikit? So because I play with the unit. That's how the question will do in SPM. Mereka akan main unit. So if you're not careful, you will get wrong. Okay, because I adjust the unit. Okay, soalan tak susah. Very simple only. Okay, but the unit. So make sure you all know the unit. Okay, I test you all a bit lah. Never mind. Since just now the kilo, you all struggle a bit. Okay, come. This one form 3 actually. Never mind. Okay. Uh, never mind, never mind. Slowly. Wait, ah. Uh. Let me think first again. Hmm. Sad ah, guys. Saya lihat sekejap. Okay. First question. Let's say sekarang saya cakap pasal GCM lah. Mass. Okay, guys. Let's say. Uh, SI unit is gram, right? Okay, so I use gram lah. Okay, guys. Gaiga gram. 10 kuasa apa? 10 power what? If gaiga. Gaiga is how much? 10 power what? 10 kuasa apa? This one in, mod, in your maths form 3, you all learn. Form 3, kamu belajar yang ni. Standard form. Bentuk PRY. So, gaiga. 10 power what? Yes. 10 kuasa 9. Mega? 
Sepuluh kuasa apa? Yes. Okay, kilo you all done already. Ten power three. Okay, how about... Siapa tahu yang ni? Sepuluh kuasa apa yang ni? Who know this one? Kalau ada simbol T kat depan. Yes, how much? Wah, not bad ah. Sepuluh kuasa dua belas, correct. Okay, ten power twelve, Tera. Correct. Okay, yeah, there is such thing also. Okay, so now guys, kita pergi kecil pula. Sepuluh kuasa apa yang ni? M. M kecil. I just training you all to memorize. Hey, careful lah. It's not micro. This one is milli. Okay, this symbol is called milli. So, sepuluh kuasa apa? Ten power what? This one. Don't ask me why I teach this suddenly, ah, because I want you all to recap this one. Because this unit, this chapter, they like to play on unit. So maybe they might ask something like this. So that's why I recap on this part. So guys, mili berapa? Sepuluh kuasa apa? How much? Semua dah lupa ke? Yes, negative three. How about this one? Sepuluh kuasa apa? DG. How much? Eh, no, 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 not deca. This one is desi. Okay, desi berapa? Kuasa dia. Yes, negative one. Correct. Okay, how about uh, like this? Sepuluh kuasa apa? Yes, correct. You cannot ask in the exam ah, whether it's micro or what. Kamu kena tahu jawapan terus. Yes, negative six. How about this? Sepuluh kuasa apa? Ten power what? Okay, not bad. Negative nine. Okay, last one. Paling akhir. Sepuluh kuasa apa? Wah, not bad ah. Sepuluh kuasa apa? This one I don't know whether you all know or not. FG. Berapa? Sepuluh kuasa apa? This one. FG. Jangan kata ini fungsi gubahan lah guys. This is not composite function lah. This is F. This one is prefix. Jangan kata yang ni fungsi gubahan. This is not admits. Okay. Sepuluh kuasa apa yang ni? FG. Yes. How much? The answer is negative 15. Okay, negative 15. Okay, actually I think syllabus kamu until negative 12 if not mistaken. Okay, this one K-bat only lah. Okay. So guys, make sure you memorize all this conversion. Anything from here can come out. Mana-mana satu boleh keluar. Okay, especially in this chapter. So make sure you all know this. Alright? So suddenly go back to form 3, Eddie. Okay, so never mind. We come back to the chapter. So let me see. Uh, anything I can use over here. Any other example. Wait, uh, guys. Let me see for a while. Okay, this one, we try this example. Kita cuba yang ni. So guys, they tell you that ini info yang diberi. This is the information given. So guys, can you all type out for me in variation, how will this one look like? Bentuk ubahan. Variation. How is this one written as? Macam mana saya boleh tulis yang ni? Yes. Okay, correct. T, symbol, 1 over square root G. 
Okay, square root, you can write like this. Kamu boleh buat simbol punca kuasa. Okay, so now the question is, you have to convert to variation, eh, sorry, convert to equation first lah. So you tambah K. This is what we call as equation for just now. Equation. So now, they tell you that Uh, guys, don't ask me why G is 9.85. Eh? As I know, G is 9.81 lah, if not mistaken. Correct? Yang kamu belajar dalam fizik. Am I right? Okay, so don't ask me why G they give 9.85. Eh? Kamu kena ikut saja what the question give you. Okay? Okay, so never mind. So 1.01 .01 equal to K over square root 9.85. So the question is, Ungkapkan T dalam sebutan G. Express T in terms of G. So you must find the K lah. So if you count the K, kamu kira nilai K, you will get 3.17. Alright? So now, you can already write out. So T equal to 3.17 over square root G. Okay, guys? Understand? Macam mana dapat yang ni? Do you get it? How to express T in terms of G? Okay, good. So now, let me see. Okay, still got time. 15 minutes. Okay, so now, we make it interesting. Okay. Uh, I give you all one question. Um, okay, let me see. Uh. Which one is a challenging one? Actually, bab ni kan, tak banyak kan okay, but based on the textbook also, not much, but never mind. Okay. Um, okay, we talk this one lah. Okay. I give you all the table. Saya bagi jadual. Okay, something like this. So the question here is uh, like this. Adakah bentuk ubahan ini betul atau tidak? This variation form. Is it correct or wrong based on the table here? So can you all answer me? Is it correct or wrong? You all should know what to do lah. What is the method? Okay, maybe I give someone task lah. Uh, let me see. Uh, who should I give it to? Okay, come. Uh, Susan, you try. Is this correct or wrong? This relationship. Slowly. No need stress. Slowly do and see. Is it right or wrong? The variation I give. R varies inversely as R square. Is it right or wrong? Based on the value here. If others got answer, you can share also. Don't worry. Okay, how about the rest? Okay, very good. The answer is correct. Okay, how to know whether it's correct? Find the K value. Chari nilai K. So, how to get the K value? In this case, K will equal to R times R square. 
Okay, al kali al kuasa dua. So basically, you just times all this value lah, one by one. You see which one is correct. Mana akan bagi jawapan betul. Jawapan nilai K yang consistent. If it give consistent K value, means it's correct lah. Okay, you should get K equal to 1.44 for all the situation. Okay, guys, clear on this? Okay, this is the type lah they can ask you in the exam. All right. So one last one before we end today. I give you all a special question. Physics again. It helps you in your physics lah at the same time, but it is related to variation. Okay. So you all try and see this one. Um, okay. Do you all know this? For those take physics, have you seen this before? Adakah kamu pernah nampak hubungan ni? Okay, this is basically uh, okay lah, like, right like this. Orbital period. This one from 4 chapter kamu belajar. Yes, gravity. Orbital period, correct. This one is the radius of set, of orbit lah. Okay, radius of orbit. So guys, my question to you now. Let's say Saya nak plot satu graph. I want to plot a graph. T square and R cube. Can I ask you all? Graph dia macam ni atau macam ni? A or B? Which is the correct answer? For the relationship just now. Untuk hubungan yang tu. Mana graph betul? A or B? This relationship. Anyone? Which is the correct graph? Mana graph yang betul? Hubungan T square and R cube. Yeah. A is the answer. Okay guys. This is showing direct variation. Tiba-tiba saya pergi balik to subtopic 1.1 to test whether you all still remember or not the first subtopic. Okay. This is uban langsung. Direct variation. Ah. Um, got this right. Yes, they can give also. Walaupun kamu tak ambil fizik, this can come out in the exam. Because mereka akan bagi tahu info yang ni pada kamu. They will tell you T is what, R is what. They will give you directly. Ah, uh, So you don't need to memorize actually based on the fizik. They will give clearly to you all. Okay, everything. Because other student bukan fizik also take maths. Okay, guys. So now. Uh, I changed the situation a bit. I want to test you all. Let's say. Wait. Uh, because they can ask like this in maths or so. So now. Is the graph still like this? Adakah graph masih macam ni? Uh, B is linearly. B is increase linearly, bertambah secara linear. Okay, ta, ta, kita tak belajar lah dalam matematik. Kita hanya belajar berubah secara langsung, directly proportional, berubah secara song-song, inversely proportional. Okay guys, this one. For this graph, untuk paksi macam ni, is this graph correct lah? Kalau hubungan dia like this. Just to test you all. Yeah, it's not correct. Okay, this graph tak boleh. Okay, so basically, kalau dia macam ni, very simple. Yes, correct. No, no, inversely, uh, Hakim, inversely, the graph is like this. Kalau berubah song-sang, graph dia macam ni. Dia takkan sentuh origin. Okay, it doesn't touch. Inversely, doesn't touch anywhere. Okay, understand ah? Okay, so make sure you all know this. So for this graph, let's say lah guys, I test you all. If R increase, nilai R bertambah. Seluruh nilai ni, apa jadi kalau R bertambah? If the R value increase, 1 over R cube, what happen to the value? Increase or decrease? Anyone? Satu bahagi R cube. Careful lah, satu bahagi R cube. Saya kata R bertambah, R increase. So nilai ni, yes, decrease. Okay, so based on the formula, 
Aw saya kata bertambah right? So T is bertambah also. Correct? So now guys you see. T square bertambah. Satu bahagi R cube berkurang. So what type of variation is this? Apa ubahan ini? Terus ke songsang? Is it direct or inverse variation? Yes. So how is your graph? Like this. Ah, So this is what you all must know. Kamu kena bezakan dua yang ni. Kalau T square dengan R cube, straight line. Sentuh asalan. Kalau paksi saya ubah satu bahagi R cube, dia akan bentuk macam tu. Ah, So this is the concept over here. Okay guys? Clear? So this is basically inverse variation lah yang kita dah kawal hari ni. Okay, sangat pendek. So any question you all have to ask me? Ada apa-apa soalan yang kamu tak clear lagi tentang bab ni? Any question? You can ask because we still got five more minutes. Any question? Wah, wow, you're fine lah. Okay, not bad. More ah. Okay, I give you all one more lah. Okay, last one. Uh, let me see. Mm, let me think of a nice one. Wait, uh, guys, I need some time to think and see. Mm, okay. Let's say lah. Okay guys, I relate to your daily life lah. Exam marks. Modern maths and maths. Okay, I want to show variation. Saya nak tunjuk hubungan antara dua subjek ni. Okay guys, one of you, tell me your modern maths and end maths marks. Two one ah, saya nak data because I don't, I don't know what marks to give. Saya tak tahu nilai apa nak letak. So you all tell me two of your marks. Modern maths and maths. Based on form 4 lah. You tell. Anyone. Modern maths and maths. Your pair of mark. Okay, 43. And maths. You must take both lah. Kamu kena ambil dua. Okay, 74. Never mind. Okay, second set. Can anyone tell me your marks? The rest. Modern maths and maths. If you take both. I just want to show you all the trend lah. Over here. 82.52, okay? Okay, I think this is a bit weird already. Okay, one more person. Satu lagi. Okay. And match. Hakim. Oh, it's okay. Never mind. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Uh. The trend. Okay, let's say I put 62. Okay, one more. Huh? I put one more for you. Let's say... Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, hopefully one of you get this mark lah. Salah satu daripada kamu dapat yang ni. This one is my mark. This one is me. Sorry, ah, just joking only. This one me. Okay, 99. <laughs> okay, so now, tell me, is this direct? <laughs> no lah, joking only. Saya pun tak dapat maruka tu. Okay, direct or inverse? Which is the answer based on the trend here? I want to see whether, whether you all get correct or not. Direct variation or inverse variation? Cuba comment. Try to comment and see what's the answer. Between modern maths and add maths, you observe the trend. Tengok pola. Okay, some more. The rest, what do you all say? Who never answer yet? Never mind, never mind. I'm not looking for reason. I just want direct or inverse. So the rest, others? Okay, some more, some more. I want more people. The rest here. 
direct or inverse? Okay, basically, the answer is Kamu semua salah. Everyone wrong. Yes, correct. I was waiting for the answer. The answer is nothing. Guys, do you all remember? If you want to be called inverse variation, ah, I already tweaked you all. I simply do the situation to see whether you all remember what I say. K is a constant. Guys, you try to times all the values and see. Do you get constant value for all the marks here? Kamu darab MMAM, satu per satu. Do you get constant K value? I don't think so. Okay, you won't get a constant K value over here. So that's why you cannot call this inverse. Okay, inverse is wrong. Direct, definitely wrong. Lah. Can you ask? Can you guys understand? Okay, I tweak you all only to see whether you all still remember or not. K must be constant. Remember, although one increase, one decrease, we cannot call inverse. Kita tak boleh panggil songsang. Walaupun satu bertambah, satu berkurang. Kita kena tengok pemala dia. Okay. Kamu kena darab dua nilai. Remember this point. Okay, if you forget this point, quite difficult. You have to remember. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I think that's all for today lah. But before that, uh, let me see. You can try out these exercises as homework. Okay, for... <laughs> yeah, nice ending, right? Kamu semua suka ending kan tadi? Semua salah. Everyone get the wrong answer. I just simply play with you all lah. Okay? <laughs> so self-practice, you all can try out on your own. Yes, yes, I'll post on my YouTube channel. Okay, so you all can try out question two. These are your own exercise. Lah. Uh, very well, lah. not really. Okay, this one is just to challenge you all only as k -bat. Okay, usually question will be direct. Dia takkan tanya macam ni. Uh, it's just to make you understand the concept that you must count the K value to determine direct or inverse variation. You cannot direct look at the trend and tell the answer. You must count one by one. Okay. And then another one is 1.2B. Uh, you can try 4, 6, 7. And then 1.2C. Only got three parts. Okay, you try number three okay guys you can try out all this as extra exercise lah for y'all kamu boleh cuba okay for extra exercise on inverse variation okay from the textbook ah, huh? this one yeah yeah you need is tricky basically modern maths not many tricky questions so don't worry okay they are tak sangat susah macam at maths okay at maths i feel like it's more tricky am i right for those that still continue take at maths you all still take maths, right, in Kuang Pai. Don't say suddenly you all drop early. Uh, anyone drop, siap dengan saya. <laughs> Don't say you drop. <laughs> For those never start at the beginning, take okay lah. You all never start to take in Form 4. That one, I cannot say anything. I mean those who study the Form 4 and then suddenly drop. Uh, that's the one I'm angry. <laughs> uh, actually, right, guys, to be honest lah. I share with you all a bit over here. Huh? Just a simple sharing. Since you all say it's burdensome. Okay, guys. Add maths. Huh? Trust me. You ask your junior also. Add maths. Very important for uni. Okay, trust me. Maths, right? If you look carefully, Bila lepas SPM lah, I'm telling you all. Basically, what you learn in maths, right? It actually cabang into a lot of bidang like economics, accounts, business. This is what you learn in modern maths, like those insurance, taxation, semua yang tu. Later on lah, we'll learn. So basically, the pure maths lah, yang betul-betul tulin punya, is your ad maths. So that's why I say ad maths important. If you want to take maths, in uni, dalam uni, it's basically your ad maths, not your modern maths. Mathematics biasa dalam uni is your ad maths that you learn now. So that's why I say ad maths is important. Uh, maths, they will cabang into many parts, like econs, accounts, business, finance, 
Ah, uh, so that's why I telling y'all and maths too penting. If you want to take mathematics in your uni, you must be good in and maths, not your modern maths. Ah, uh, this is why a lot of people don't tell you. Ah, uh, that's the problem lah. So that's why you all think and see again. Do you all really want to take mathematics lepas SPM or not? Uh, so if you really like and maths, kalau kamu suka sangat and maths, then go ahead lah. You can take maths in uni. Okay, any course also lah is the same story. Okay, depend foundation, diploma, anything also. They will still come back to and maths. So that's why and maths important. Okay, so anyone heard from your senior or not? How was the and maths paper? Bad kosong enam. Have you all heard the news? Macam mana SPM mereka and maths? Anyone know? That you hear from your senior? Ah, apa mereka kata? What they say on the paper? Yeah. Okay, susah. Okay, I, for me lah, what people tell me lah after I teach them. Go one person tell me, right? Oh, Haida, yeah, yeah, I taught him also. Don't try. <laughs> yeah, that's what your senior will say. Okay, true also lah, but to me, it's better to give a try rather than not trying at all. Am I right, guys? Lebih baik mencuba berbanding kamu tak mencuba langsung. Okay, although you fail, let's say lah, hopefully nothing happened like that. Although you fail, but at least you can say you already cuba your best. Yes, yes, I teach and math also. Okay, if you're in my group, you know lah, saya buat kelas and math juga. And math is kamis malam. Ah, uh, doesn't mean, and math always susah lah, guys. Trust me, and math never senang. It's always susa one. There is no such thing as one year susa, one year senang. Never like that. Okay, and maths always will be susa one. But surprisingly, yeah, guys, I want to tell you all one thing. This year, right, at maths, I sorry, best 06, SPM 2023, based on what they tell me lah, got no proving. Tak ada soalan buktikan keluar, which actually, Surprise me lah, because at maths, mereka suka nak buktikan rumus, but kertas satu, kertas dua, proving tak ada langsung. Tapi soalan kebat dia banyak. Kebat bukan soalan buktikan, tapi soalan aplikasi harian. Okay, not lucky. Actually, more harder. Okay, because proving, you can hafal, you can memorize the step, you can do a D. But they never keluar at all. Ah, uh, They keluar soalan aplikasi harian, kebat. Okay. And also controversial lah a bit. I give you all an example lah. Guys, mereka suruh kamu cari yang ni. This is one of the question they come out. Kamu semua boleh buat yang ni tak? Mereka bagi soalan ni tau dalam SPM. G kuasa 4N tolak 3X. Ah, uh, This the problem. Saya pun macam, eh, yang ni tak ada dalam buku teks pun macam mana boleh keluar. Saya pun terfikir. Macam mana mereka tanya soalan? Ah, that's why tak pernah acar. <laughs> yes, correct. Cikgu pun tak boleh selesaikan. So, ah, apa? Ah, orang bagi tahu saya. I don't know the full question. I must see the full question. Then only I know. Or else I, I don't know the full information. Ah, I must see lah. Very bright like the sun. Trust me guys. Go one person lah. He tell me from his school. Sepuluh. Ten people. Crying while doing AdMatch paper SPM. 10 orang tau menangis masa buat AdMatch SPM uh, bulan lepas for batch 06. 10 people crying. You can imagine lah. Kamu boleh bayangkan. Do you want to take AdMatch or not? 10 people crying one shot in the SPM hall. <laughs> I don't know lah. Hopefully no. But we don't know. That's why I say you have to follow me closely. If you follow me closely, then you all won't cry. Trust me. Those who don't follow me, then you cry lah. Okay? If you follow me closely, my admats, no problem. Okay? You can pass one or even get better than that. Okay? That's why I say, you must refer my YouTube channel. Got so many videos on admats there already. Untuk aja kamu. Okay? Anyone new here who just joined my class? Pertama kali. Wait, wait. I show over here. Wait for a while. You can find it on YouTube. It's this one. This channel. 
Ah, uh, you all can go and subscribe. This is my channel. Okay, you can see lah, got a lot of videos already on and maths, maths. Okay, circular measure and maths, function and maths. Okay, and then saya buat perbincangan soalan trial juga. Okay, trial question. Yang ni 2023 one lah. Okay, proving also got. Okay, soalan buktikan. And then others also lah. Yang lain-lain. Okay, all, actually all the chapter already in my channel lah. Semua bab dah ada. Okay, you all can learn also by your own. Okay, based on this lah. Okay, so you all can su subscribe and share to your friend also my channel. Okay. So, yeah. So, think lah again. If you really want to like do well in admats, you must start now. Okay, kamu kena mula sekarang. Kalau kamu nak A, at least A lah, admats. You have to start now. Every day do admats. Setiap hari. No other choice. Okay. You are my life bro after this. <laughs> you mean for what? Admats is it? Ah, <laughs> uh, guys. One thing lah, I cannot guarantee you that I can give you A plus lah in, in maths. It is your effort in the end. Okay, I can only teach and terangkan to y'all, but in the end, it's your hard work that you must put in also lah. Am I right? Of course, I can help you like solve here and there, but at the end, it's how much your hard work you put in lah, as you know. Yes, do trial paper, correct. Okay, yeah. That's the main thing lah. But you can ask your senior lah who uh, joined the online class with me. They say they got improved a lot lah for their admats and maths. I think you should know lah based on what your senior say. Okay. So hopefully uh, you all can get the same results like them lah later on in your SPM. Okay. All get A plus for maths and admats. Not impossible. Yeah, yeah, same day, same time. Maybe late. Okay, I want to ask you all. You all feel like demotivated, ah? Uh, anyone here? Siapa rasa macam kehilangan motivasi to fight for SPM since got like eight months? Still got motivation, ah? Uh? I invest. Invest in what? <laughs> Me sikit. Sikit, ah? Uh, okay. No. Sadly, no. Very simple, guys. Anyone want motivation? Just wait for a while. I show you one thing here on my laptop. You all will get motivated. Let me share screen here. If you want motivation, la. Oh, and maths. Okay, no problem. I show you one thing. One thing only you all know, Odi. Uh, let me show this one. So guys, do you all want to be one of the names over here? Yes or no? I think some of you will join the introduction. No lah. Okay, this is basically your senior lah that joined my class for admats. Okay, so guys, kamu semua nak tengok yang ni tak nanti? This is what your senior tell me after the SPM admats. So do you all want this? Nak dapat komen macam ni? Ah. So I tell you, if you really usaha with me, yeah. Guys, if you all know lah, got one fella from fail, form 4 and maths, his trial A minus after he joined my class. So I think that's the biggest motivation I can give you all lah. Dah we fail. Masa form 4 akhir tahun, A minus trial. Hopefully, SPM, he dapat A plus lah. Okay, so that's why I tell you all, never give up. Okay, this is the proof I told you all. Okay, if you really follow me, follow me step by step, you will be one of this person over here. You will be one of this person who comment over here later on. Okay, so I think this is the motivation lah. Got one more also, satu lagi untuk kamu. If anyone wanted motivation, this is for you lah. Ah. So guys, do you all get smangat daddy? Everyone here, after see the comment. Dah dapat semangat? 
Hopefully, you all get the semangat dari lah after you see this. Okay? Trust me, guys. You all, semua kat sini. Let me come back here. All of you, macam mereka sahaja. They got no hope at the beginning untuk buat bagus dalam NMATS. But after they follow me, they change a lot. Okay, mereka ubah banyak. So that's why I say you all must follow me closely. If you never follow me closely, then hard. But if you join every week the class, setiap minggu kamu datang, trust me, you can see the improvement. Okay? So hopefully you all with me lah in this fight. I think after I show that, you all have trust in me. Am I right? Kena percaya saya. I can guide you one to A+. plus. No problem. Okay, I've done it with one batch. Now it's your batch. Second time. Okay? So yeah, make sure you all fight with me. Okay? So any other question?